Hello, I'm Lessa Logan, and today we're doing the big back bend after thigh stretch here on The Rough Farmer. So this is not necessarily have to be done by everyone, um, and I'm doing it with the footbar up, depending on your height. If you're super tall, you may even do it the foot bar down, okay? Um, I did that for a long time because I'm so bendy. Um, I'm not so much anymore. I've definitely s matched my strength with my flexibility a little bit more. But um, So I do it the foot bar up, but for a time I was going all the way down just to help me not end up in my lower back to fit into the space. So just know that's an option for you. If you're checking this out because you are looking at the online pliesclasses.com reformer deck of flashcards, Thank you so much. I love that you're using them. This is not, this is one of the super advanced exercises, meaning when you're doing a workout, you definitely want to build up to this one. And I would say out of that deck, only do a few of those in each workout. Maybe start out with one, then work up to two. Typically in my own practice, I'd maybe do three or four um and i pick and choose otherwise it's just a lot right um so so just know that you get to pick into the one that's right for you with what you're working on right now if you don't have the flashcard deck get it it's super fun all right so we have two he uh, heavy springs on our knees are into our shoulder blocks they're narrowing towards each other even though they're apart and they're reaching down arms go up you're going to thigh stretch back and back bend like you did in your thigh stretch, find the foot bar, do three shaves, then you reach your knees away three times while your arms are straight, then you can do a combo, and then you're going to close the springs, come up in your back bend, round forward, give yourself a child's pose. Whew. It's easier to do when you're not talking through it. So something that I'm having to work on is coming out of it and staying long. That's something I'm working on. But the more you stand in your legs, the easier this exercise is, the more possible the exercise is. When those arms are bending, just shave, just shave, okay? So if you, when you do shave on the reformer, your elbows are narrow, you don't feel in your upper back, this is not for you yet, okay? If when you thigh stretch, your lower back goes forward, this is not for you yet. This is for you if you have a really strong swan over your ladder barrel and you can keep length in your back bend. You have really strong thigh stretch where you're not hanging out in your lower back. And when you move your arms, they move from your back so that when your legs are reaching down and your arms are reaching out, you get long, you stay strong, and you can come out of it, okay? If you're trying this for the first time, make sure you have a spotter, have them be there, see how far you can go, come back up. You might do several months of trying to get into position and come back up before you get your hands there. All right, and then it is a little scary to get out of it, I'm not gonna lie, but stay strong, breathe, and you'll get there. And then join us over at onlinepliesclasses.com where we do life better.